This is Devin, and we are writing daily. Welcome. Uh, today, I am actually still basking in the glow of yesterday's uh, uh, literary reading doubleheader. It was really wonderful to reconnect with friends. And today, we're going to kind of move in that same literary universe of what happens once you have a book. And I have like a special surprise today. Um, so we're going to talk about galleys and what they mean and what they are and why is it really important that as a writer who's hoping to get published or who has have already been published, why it's important to you. And so this arrived in the mail today. I don't know if you can read that. Uh, 10,000 Miles with My Dead Father's Ashes. Uh, as always, we are writing daily. Uh, we talk about writing all the time. And if you like what we're doing, please leave a comment in the box. Uh, please like, please share, and do all that kind of fun stuff. And as I said, we're going to be talking about galleys. My galleys arrived today. They arrived from FedEx, thrown on my lawn. So without further ado, I'm going to open the box. I don't know if you could hear that. That was the sound of joy of the tape being parted. And what do we have other than packing materials. So there it is. This is the advanced uncorrected proof of 10,000 miles with my dead father's ashes. Uh, it is, what do I want to say? It is thinner than I thought it would be. Um, and yes, they still don't have a cover. And what does it say on the back? Anyway, it talks about the ISBN number. It talks about the release date. It talks about, oh, this is going to be 208 pages. This looks like it is uh, 160. That's probably because of the formatting. They probably maximize formatting so that the, pay, the, the, the book is going to be thinner than what you think it is. Uh, maybe the, the pages themselves are also wider. That said, this was this took a very very long time for me to uh, to create. So there's still some fun things that are coming uh, coming in the future. I'm assuming that this sort of maroon is kind of a generic thing. But what's really important here, other than the fact that I personally am excited to to see it and hold it, is that now the the real work begins. In other words, it's terrific that I worked seven years on this book. It's terrific that. I put my time forth and energy, and this is true of you sitting at home working on your novel and your short stories and all that. And then at some point, that has to all switch. Like, and I was talking about this yesterday with uh, with a, a writer friend that, you know, what what we what we're moving into now with the galleys is really sort of the opposite of writing. Like, you sit home and you toil by yourself and you work on these words so that you hope that they're going to be well and wonderful, and it's all about the writing. But now that I have this book in my hand, it really becomes all about the marketing, which is really kind of the opposite, where before I might be sitting in, uh, you know, in this, in this uh, solitary situation, this self-imposed exile so I, can, so I can finish my book, only to then have to completely switch gears to start getting the word out. That's part of the reason why this podcast exists, is so that I had a reason to start thinking about my book and thinking about writing on a very daily basis so I could keep doing this no matter what and, and perhaps even interview and talk to people who are looking to do uh, the same kinds of things or have already moved beyond that to sort of like whatever the next step in marketing is. So what that means is I have... What do I have? It looks like I have six copies. One of these copies I'm going to be taking with me to an event that I'm going to be doing uh, starting on Wednesday evening. Um, and other than that, uh, I'm going to find some some people, you know, some some book reviewers and things like that locally that I'll be able to hand these out uh, because ultimately it's about moving to that next level. So what are these things? Well, on, on some degree, they are a calling card that says, oh, it's all pending uh, on another stance. It is, uh, you know, it's time for me to probably proofread this and maybe give it to somebody else to really find comb through it, although I have complete I have complete faith that my publisher will at some point do everything perfectly except some weird 
you know, it should have said she, and somehow it, there was a word chrysanthemum that had, didn't belong there. Or some weird thing that after 50 read-throughs, it, it's just going to get missed because I still read typos in books with some regularity. And I'm the last person on the planet to catch a typo. So that all said, so what is this? This is the uh, calling card, and it is marketing, marketing materials. This is the thing that I'm going to, you know, honestly, I'm probably just going to say on Facebook, hey, because I have lots of writer friends, if any of them are doing reviews or, or uh, similar things, I want to make sure that, they have, that I give myself an opportunity for them to, you know, review my book. And on the one hand, it's terrifying because I don't have control. Like, I have control to give them the copy. What I don't have control over is whether or not they will like it and love it and hopefully write beautiful things that will inspire others to like it and love it. And so it's, but really what it means is this is the thing that moves the, the ball forward. To me, this is sort of like before, I think there was like, yeah, anything can happen. Sure, they're going to publish my book, but anything can happen. I think once you get to this stage where you actually have something in your hands that you can kind of show people, um, it is, I think it's, uh, it's exciting. It, it takes it to that next level. I've already written my publisher multiple times today about different ways that I can focus on my marketing. I've heard from them a little bit. And it's just, you know, on the one hand, it's like, go, go, go. And on the other hand, it's like patience, patience, patience. And I think if there was one thing that I'm learning through this process is that it goes in the, in the, in the speed that it goes. Um, you know, I have all of these grand ideas and, and frequently the response from their marketing department is we're not quite there yet. They're, encur they're enthusiastic and they're encouraging me and they're also selective in their language, which uh, I tend to read as well. Hold your horses there. So, but that all said, um, I have uh, I have six copies that at some point, you know, probably in the near future that I'm going to want to dole out. Some people who helped uh, helped me along the way, and uh, a few others that are absolutely going to be just about how can uh, we get you to take a look and see if you like it, and hopefully, if you do, that you have time and energy and the inclination to write a glowing review. And that's part of the process, and that's what it's about today. So as always, absolutely please leave a comment. Please ask a question. Please let me know what you are uh, up to. And by the way, if you are even, let's say if you're printing on demand, if you're doing that, then if I was the writer doing some sort of a print on demand thing, because this is all going to be very standard stuff if you are dealing with kind of a traditional publisher. If you are not dealing with a tra traditional pub publisher, I recommend that you do, in fact, get sort of like a, a homemade version of galleys, a print on demand version of, of galleys of your book, you know, maybe five, six months out in advance. So you can start getting them into the hands of people who might give you blurbs and uh, for people who might be doing book reviews, uh, like Kirkus Reviews is kind of one of them. And they're one of the more big ones. Like I'm certainly hoping like if my publisher is watching, we would want to get this in their hands. They know this, but I'm doing it because I really don't. So all the little bits and pieces I know, I'm just going to keep talking about. So that all said, uh, please like, please follow me on, on Twitter and Facebook and uh, go to devingalladay.com forward slash dad, which is going to give you sort of an overview of what I'm doing. And please, again, always kind of check the box and ask some questions and we can help you in what your writing experience is going to be down the road. So until then, we're going to keep talking about writing every single day. Thanks for joining me. And this is exciting. Anyway. Anyway, take care, guys.